Oh, what's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's Action Figure Freak once again. And for this day I got you the Marvel Mafex Scarlet Spider-Man after it was asked for twice. So the next one coming after the Angel figure I reviewed yesterday. Uh, so yeah, that one looked pretty promising and better than the Marvel Legends that just came out recently. So I just thought, let's get this and I won't waste too much time and just rip this thing open. We get a really quick 360 of the figure and I gotta say, first up, it's really, really, really good. Uh, it has, as the Spider-Man, I just recently reviewed a lot of accessories, a bunch of. And yeah, it, it just looks really, really awesome. So I'm going to get into the detail in a second. So let's just dive right into this. There he is, the Mafex Scarlet Spider-Man, and let's see, first up, we got, oh, let's see the hat joint. So we get a neck joint over here, which is absolutely perfect, and inside that hat joint, or neck joint, we get the other one for the head itself. Just pop it on, with a little clicking noise, oh my god, oh that's, that's a hardened joint I don't know feels bad to stick on oh my god so yeah first up this then we get ball joints on the shoulders we get those really interesting Mafex butterfly joints on here uh, that you can pose those arms like stretching to the sides that, that's really good I really like that uh, under the shirt probably well, let me see. Yeah, we got some joint over here. You can't see that. There is a joint. Uh, but I don't want to pull the whole shirt off. So, yeah. Uh, we got those double jointed elbows. Those are going into the arm. I really love that about Mafex. All those joints are hit really, really good. So, you can only see the elbow. Then here those sides are coming out that small, that, that's nothing, nothing compared to Hasbro or Mattel. Uh, we got those joints in here also hit really good. We got those DC Anime Heroes SH Figure Arts joints that you can twist around. So there we got, okay, it's not, whoa, okay, didn't believe that. Because of his armbands he won't be able that good to pose his hands so I didn't thought about that but yeah here we got horizontal hinges on the fist and then we come on can we yeah I think no I didn't so yeah that's that's a problem so you can't really change the direction of the joint really good so that was really easy on the normal Spider-Man I just reviewed before a few weeks. That is a little bit sad. Let's continue. We got swivels on the hips. We got those leg joints where you can pull the whole leg down for action moves like this. Um, then we got swivels over here that you can also use really good. We get double jointed knees with the exact same technique. I love it. I love also how they look from behind. Uh, we get the same joints as on the hands on the feet. And we get that toe joint which is also really fun. Let's see. Uh, I gotta say. There is the main reason why I bought this figure. I actually uh, waited a long time for the Hasbro one to, came, uh, to come out. But the Hasbro one is kind of for the Spider-Verse movie version. And they put a rubber shirt on him. They have the new articulation from the new Hasbro Spider-Man figures. I'm going to show that for a second if you don't know. That upper torso part here and the lower ab crunch here. Uh, and also toe joints like this. 
So that is the new articulation I'm saying. And yeah, with the rubber shirt, you wouldn't have used that uh, yeah, app crunch here. So poses like this, some kicks and stuff would be way harder. And I, I wouldn't like that. So yeah, then I thought uh, the Mayfix Spider-Man is for 110. Then they charged up the price and yeah, I've ended up for paying, I think, 130 or 140 euros uh, that was probably really stupid but yeah i'm here with the mafex spider-man and i can't complain so let's go into some more details about this figure speaking of details first up his shirt when i've been talking about this for a minute now they got the spider-man logo on it and it's fully cloth it's really good manufactured and just look at the logo I couldn't believe that it's looking that good and the hood is also working really good because you can just pull it down like this if you don't use it but you also get metal wires in the hood itself so that front ring here that is metal wired so you could also kind of pose it around and could also kind of make it work a little better through using that steel in there so that's that's real cool uh you got that really comic like looking belt that one is that one is amazing so I really like that one uh we got some pockets here on his shins like in the common uh, comics it was it was looking really good so i mean just just look at the amount of detail in a such such a small piece uh yeah and then we get those <laughs> hell armbands i i gotta say they look good but i still don't figure out how i could change the wrist motion so that's that's a little bit sad but i will go over it so whatever after we finished almost with the hidden details i mean the best part for me is that vibrant red all over the body it looks so damn good uh is first up the accessories and otherwise the accessories now we got a bunch of accessories here so let's at first pop off his head and show him this one so there we get a pretty normal scarlet spider head but let's see the other ones so we got one that looks here, yeah, that one with those angry eyes up here. So that is really, really cool. Let's just put this one on. Oops! I always fuck this up. I don't know why. Hurts a lot if you know that you paid over a hundred bucks for a figure and then you drop the accessories more than once. But yeah, there we got the more angry face. Let's put him into a quick pose, like this. Uh, damn. Yes. That one looks really, really angry. That That's a cool one. Then pop this off. And now we're coming to my favorite head. It's the third head. And there you can see that's the original comic look i believe like i i'm not the biggest pro but i like those sharp edges on his eyes that almost look like venom or carnage so let's pop this one on oh my god i hate it i hate it oh god i will break this one so and there we get the probably the best face on the figure and i love it i just simply love it but let's switch out some other accessories. Think like the hands, because it's the same as on the other Spider-Man I reviewed, but it's it's a bunch of hands. So let's start off easy. Speaking of accessory hands and feet, I'm first up showing the ones that I don't will show in the detail. These two hands and feet are just here, these are the exact same hands as those normal wall crawl hands they're just with magnets 
as well as the feet are the exact same that he's wearing also with the toe joint here it's a little bit stiff gotta say but yeah also with the toe joint and both of them can hold the whole figure itself so only the feet will hold him up and only the hands will hold him up but it will work for posing way better if you use both of them but yeah let's see the hands okay and first up we get those simple hands that are just yeah relaxed hands i would say i would call it like this that you could hold a phone or anything you can say hi and greet yeah you know you know what hands are for <laughs> Uh, and we also get in every hand and feet set uh, those pieces here, those yeah invisible sticking parts. Oh my god, I just lost one. Uh, but they are really, really good, so you won't lose all your hands and feet for the figure. So I, I really like it. It keeps everything organized. Then the next piece we got here are those webbing hands oh, like this yeah <laughs> come on let's get this one on and yeah there we get some spidey hands perfect up perfect so then next set of hands okay the next one i will put aside till i open those uh yeah wires because he comes with a lot of wires too. And then, yeah, we got those normal wall crawl hands that you can put on like the others too. Like this. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, the feet, if you ask in how to pull those off, yeah, just, just pull them off. It's really easy. And they are, yeah. In a good shape so they won't come off loose or anything. I don't know, the, the longest one I got is for a month now, I think. So I can't tell too much about this, but it's it's working pretty good. Here we are on those wires, and that is whoops, way more interesting than on the normal Spider-Man I got. Uh let's first up here take the right hand off pull the grabbing hands in there there you can see those go in really well really easy with a thumb you can hold them pretty good in place so if they fall aside or anything let's just pull a single little pose off yeah like this and as you can see that, that is really, really good. I really like those pieces. This one was also in the normal Spidey, uh, as well as two of these. Oh, let me get those out. So these are hold nets. Let's put those aside. That hand goes off again. And you're supposed to pull those over the hands and stick the accessory piece right in there so you get like some webbing shooting out instantly out of the hand but i gotta say those armbands won't make it way more easy so yeah and that's the exact same one in just a little bit smaller so yeah let's go on to the stuff we don't know that would first up be those two so we get one for each hand and those are exactly the same i guess like uh you pull those over the hands and then he's grabbing like right here but let's let's just try this and i'm going to show you and there we got the quick pose and i gotta say that one looks really really good it wasn't working as easy as i thought Oh my god, 
I, I still I'm still too new with Mafix figures, so it, it still confuses me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, uh, one hand to slide down here wasn't easy. Uh, so I tried the other one and it was really easy. So probably each hand is for one of those. But yeah, it worked perfectly. And yeah, after that, we just got one more piece that we don't know till now. And this is that one and that's almost a piece of art. Uh, I actually don't know how to grab over here. Uh, but let's just see what we can do with that. So I guess like you can use it on one side for some pulling motion like this. Uh, or also use it for like, I don't know. So really that, that's one of those pieces that confuse me a little bit. I mean, you could like also, oh my god, that feels so wrong, oh my god. That's an expensive figure. Uh, but like, yeah, uh, I could also think of he's shooting this, going as a sling around the head. I think there you just use your imagination. But let's clean all those hands. But all in all, I gotta say, I was really surprised by this figure. And yeah, it was a it was a really good one. Just leave me a little bit of time. And I'm going to play around with this one. And then I'll be right back in a second. And yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think 100% real about this. Okay, so I got comfort a little bit more with the figure itself. Uh, I gotta say, it's a little bit sad that they couldn't make the hoodie go into the joint down here on his hips or anything so it would be stiff in that position uh speaking of stiff i also gotta say while that leg is pretty pretty bad that one is almost worse so you hear the clicking sound in every movement i do uh it is should be the same articulation as on the spider-man I just recently opened but that is really hurting my soul to hear that cracks but I know something I could do against it so I just used some silicone oil and this should probably fix those legs and makes me go comfort way more with the figure and as on the Spidey, we got a figure display piece. Let me see if I can get it out. Oh. Don't wanna throw around a lot of accessories again. Oh boy, yeah, there we got it. So also the same as on the Spidey. That's a really good figure stand. One of the best I ever had. And this figure gets from me a, yeah, I would say it's a 9, nine out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 without those issues with those legs. And the worst problem is really those hand joints. So I can kind of twist those around in here, but this will make the figure loose. This will make the figure broke over time. So those those wristbands, they should have made them removable or anything. So you can yeah, just detach them, make the ankle of the hands right. And yeah, then just pull them back over. But they just made them stick in there. So that's that's kind of unfortunate but yeah all in all i gotta say i'm really happy with that figure and if you if you want to buy a scarlet spider the hasbro one might also do it but you get some way better possibilities with this figure really gotta say and it moves way way more natural on every mafix figure it just feels when you throw a punch with a figure like this. I don't know. It, it, it just looks way more natural. It's like those butterfly joints just only move in a realistic way. 
But yeah, all in all, 9 out of 10. I really like this video today. Hope you could just like and subscribe or anything like this. Or comment which of the figures I should open next. My next requested one was, I think... I don't know, Gambit? I'm not sure. But yeah, just comment which I should open next and I'll probably do it. So goodbye for now and maybe we'll see tomorrow again. Goodbye.